with Synthet forces still about, Eileen faces many dangers and quests in this mission as she first encounters the strange, colorless, pale creatures. Looks like it's not far to the city now. I must hurry. Hordes of enemies are besieging the forest people's main city. What force birthed this strange beast? Air, fire, or metal? I thought I knew all the creatures. Must be one of those pale beasts the enemy dragged in with them. They probably put you at the road as a scarecrow. You surely were not much of a warrior. Yet I don't smell that machine stench. And as they say in the forest, you know three things by this smell. Roses, jasmine, and synthets. How did the Rusties manage to create this creature? That bee flies strangely. Now that's odd. Perhaps I should follow it. Help! These savage bees are killing me!
something must be truly wrong in forest land if dragons are wandering along the roads like brainless ticks. On your way, stranger. Your stats muffle the music of the fish. You are quick and hot-tempered, daughter of the forest. I will not issue you a third warning. Thank you, sister. Those crazed creatures nearly killed me. Who are you? And what are you doing in this gloomy place? I'm Erna, keeper of Musician the City Dragon. Musician's just like a child. Sensitive and very absent-minded. I was looking for him in the forest when those horrible bees surrounded me. You didn't see our musician, did you? He's hard to miss. Of course I saw him. You don't meet dragons in forest land every day. He was sitting near the southeastern tower and grumbling angrily about music of the spheres. Of course, there he goes again, listening to his music. Lately the dragon has said that the teleporter has been bringing other voices to his ear. But never you mind that. Nobody but musician has ever heard either the music or these other voices. I should go now and retrieve my dragon. Thank you. 
Greetings, Forest Maiden. Who are you, and what brings you to Golden Ash Tree City? I'm Eileen of Roan Clan. I answer the call of Vian, the Cypress Star. Welcome to the city, Valiant Eileen. Vian the Elder awaits you in the Citadel. Valiant heroine, please deign to speak to this lowly spell merchant. Your shining glory eclipses the sun in the sky. But these lowlands may yet offer you some useful trinkets. Greetings, Eileen of Rowan Clan. Your fame precedes you. We've heard stories of you taking back the Forbidden Grove from our enemies. Greetings, Vian the Cypress Staff, Elder of Golden Ash Tree City. My staff is in your hands, Keeper of Forest Relics. Indeed. It's true that a hero doesn't need to seek challenges. Challenges find the hero. Erna told me how you saved her from the crazed bees. I never saw bees act like that before. Strange things are happening to many creatures these days. Your messenger said the city was besieged by enemies. Yet I came here unopposed. Tell me, have the invaders been crushed? The city walls are still indestructible, as is the courage of ash tree warriors. Thrice the invading hordes came to the walls, and thrice have they been defeated. Well then, Vian, I'll go and find work for my staff elsewhere. Wait a moment, fearless Eileen. The enemy is dispersed, but not yet destroyed. They've been beaten as warriors, so now they roam the woods like brigands. The Kinets have settled in the northern swamps. The Synthets are making themselves at home near the eastern road twist, and further north, near quiet hills. The road is blocked by the Chaos. Our warriors have a daunting task before our region is finally clear of these invaders. A week ago, two of our heroes left the city, Valiant Fiona and my dear son Narms. Nobody has seen them since, though many warriors have searched for them. You're my last hope. Find these lost heroes, Valiant Eileen, and your name will be famed throughout the forest, and I, an old warrior, will also be in your debt. Let your heart be at peace, Eldivian. I shall succeed, and the forest grass will soon cover the remains of these insolent invaders. Oh, business has been poor lately. The enemies keep cutting off our main trade route on the eastern road. I used to go to trade in Nut Tree Clan's native settlement, near the bend in the road, but a rusty unit destroyed the settlement three weeks ago. Not long ago, we could reach the bend in the road safely via the teleporter on the island in the middle of Mirror Lake, north of the city. But now, the jetty at the lakeshore has been overrun and is guarded by some accursed Kinet hero. Many dangers are lurking round Golden Astrid's city these days. Enemies are roaming everywhere. Do you know anything about that weird creature I met near the city walls? It was like a rotten stump, a shell with nothing inside. Was that a new synthet machine? Uh, nobody knows for sure. These creatures came from the north with the Rusties, but then apparently rebelled against their creators. Uh, recently, brave Fiona saw such a creature fighting a synthet hero in mortal combat. It's no surprise to me. The Rusties fashion their helper creatures from rotten iron. We Vitals know that two helpers must grow naturally. Tobomag, 
We've got problems in the north. It's dangerous to stay here. Let's finish off this kid. Coordinator said he needed the kid alive. But Coordinator also said if anyone tries to free the boy, the kid must not escape alive. We can pretend that was exactly what happened. You talk too much. Better go and check the teleporter guard. Oh, all right, I'll go. But what's there to check? You ever see a guard make a sort of leave its post? Recently, Erna came back to the city with our dragon. You must be the valiant heroine who saved her from the crazy bees. Welcome to Golden Ash Tree City. New trouble, sister. While I've been looking for musician, our old treant's gone missing. He's been living with us since time immemorial. And the legend says that as long as he remains in the city, our walls would remain indestructible. Now the citizens are terribly worried. So what could have happened to him? He took to wandering round the swamps recently, telling the young birches tales of his youth. Even when the Kinnets came to settle there, Triant wasn't afraid. He was such a powerful being. Our mighty Triant would have easily defeated the Kinnets in open combat. So perhaps they've captured him through some cunning plot.